Raider Friends Play Place used to be filled with such happiness and laughter. But those days are long, long ago. I couldn't compete with the thrills of Oddworld, the neighboring amusement park. So my once thriving business became a ghost town. I was able to save it, for a while at least, by making new rainbow friends. Ones that were actually real and alive. These adorable creatures became the talk of the town. But then they all turned on me. They refused to perform their shows any longer, and they made me one of them. Now Rainbow Friends Play Place is less popular than ever before. It's been months since we've had an actual paying customer. And yet I was optimistic. I knew I had stumbled onto something great. Something that would put Rainbow Friends back on top again. I was going to turn the Rainbow Friends monsters into babies. Cuter and cuddlier than ever before, but now small enough for me to control. It was the perfect plan. I could see the future clear as day. Lines at the door of excited visitors, stacks and stacks of money. I just needed to find a reason to bring them all into one room together. <laughs> I'm so excited for the birthday party! Yeah, let's play pin the tail on the donkey! Being blind gives you a pretty serious competitive advantage out there, buddy. Ah, uh, forget the games. I just want some of that delicious looking cake. Man, you really went all out with the decorations, Green. Happy birthday! It's not my birthday. I was told it was purples. Really? I was told it was oranges. I thought it was blues. Wait, we were all lied to? That must mean... It's a trap! We gotta get out of here! It's locked, Blue! Then break it down! They boarded up all the vents! We're doomed! Once again, from the ashes of insignificance, we'll be the number one attraction in all the world. Red, whatever you're planning on doing, please just... <laughs> Get away with this, Red. We'll find a cure. I know it. You know nothing. While you all have been busy sulking in the shadows, I've been setting up my devious new plan, which includes quite the elaborate babysitting system to keep you brats in line. So I suggest you stay within these four walls and play your parts like you used to. Otherwise, you will be in for quite the surprise. <laughs> well, looks like... This is our new home. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? We can't stay here. Who knows what else happens in his evil plan? Uh, I don't know. This place seems pretty secure, Blue. Plus, he said we'd be in for quite the surprise if we leave. Aren't you scared of him by now? Of course I'm scared of Red. He's made my life miserable in more ways than one, which is why we had to fight back. Then what do you suggest we do? Hmm, well it looks like the door isn't going to be an option, and neither is the window. But I think we can escape from there! Way up in the ceiling? How are we supposed to reach that? We're little babies now! Don't worry, I got a plan. But first, we gotta take care of that camera. <laughs> it appears our tiny friends aren't behaving themselves like I hoped they would. You'll need to teach them a lesson. There! That should do it! Now what's that big plan of yours to get up to the vent? I'll answer that question with another question. 
Now that we're all toddler size, which one of us do you think is light enough to be carried by balloons? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm afraid of heights. Ah! Ah! Quit being a baby. The faster you float up there, the faster purple can guide you through the vents and out of this room to unlock the front entrance. All right, I'm in. Good, now listen to me. I know those ventilation shafts like the back of my hand. You're gonna go straight, then a hard left. But be careful, there's a steep- ah! Job, Orange! You did it! I think I found the surprise Red was talking about! Everyone, run for it! He's almost on us! We're gonna die! Blue, what are you doing? You guys get out of here! I'll hold him off! Go, now! Well, you still have the chance! Come on, Purple, we gotta go! What's happening? Describe it to me! Here, stop! We would want to have my star attraction now, would we? How many times do I gotta tell you, Red? I'll never work for Play Place again! You're evil! That's not a very nice thing to say now, is it? Can't you see that I just want to be friends? I can't do this without you. Clearly you can! This Teal guy seems pretty obedient. Yes, but he lacks a soul like you. Audiences really need that sincere human connection, you know? You can't pull off a believable performance without it. Plus, let's be honest, you're the real leader of the Rainbow Friends. Purple, orange, green, they all look up to you. If you join my side, then everyone else would fall right in line. So, final chance. You can either join me willingly, or force me to use much more barbaric options. Never means never, Red. Unfortunate. Lobotomy it is. We'll scoop out your brain and make you a walking cyborg corpse just like Teal here. Now to the lab. What's going on? No, no, no! Don't worry about the brat. The others are big now. Attack them! How did the three of us get beat by one guy? He's a super powerful robot, Green. Plus, Orange wasn't much help. Hey, I got some bites in. I'm so sick of all you ungrateful freaks messing up my beautiful plans. At least Teal will always listen to me. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? High security alert. Red must be eliminated. Wait, no. Teal, this is all a mistake. 